Hey guys, we're here today to do another product review. Uh, I just picked up the Oster air fryer and toaster oven. We've been talking about getting one of these for a long time just to reheat up stuff for the kids and uh, kind of save ourselves from having to use the main oven, especially in the summer here in Florida, it's like heats up the house, so you got the AC on. So right now I am doing the first uh, preliminary cooking here. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it on and take a look. So the design looks pretty solid on it. Right now we're just doing the very first preheating. I've got nothing in here. Um, just washed down all the internal pans and, and dishes with a little bit of soapy water, dried them off. Uh, plugged in the toaster oven here. I'm actually setting it on our stove top. They said to keep six inches of height above it. So this first time we're just gonna see what the uh, surface heat is like on the top. See if I can fit it under the counter, but um, definitely we'll kind of see what the heat level is around the unit. To break it in, they said to clean everything down, which we did. Turn it on the air fry setting. These knobs are nice and solid. It feels really good. Um, we turn it up to the maximum heat, which is 450. And we set the timer for about five minutes. They said we should expect a little bit of smoke or kind of that new uh, appliance smell. So I can turn the fan on with the exhaust from the oven if needed. And it is winter time, so we get the doors open too to help with any odor. Um, but yeah, so it is the uh, Oster. Here's the model right here. Countertop oven with air fryer. I know a lot of people have been using these for a long time. We have not, but um, you know, heating up some chicken nuggets, making a sandwich, or like warming up an old piece of pizza. Um, just keep us from having to use the microwave or, or heating up the entire oven to do stuff. So uh, we're going to go ahead and let this run and I'm going to check back in when we do our first round of food in it later this evening. So we're checking back in. We're about five minutes into this initial heat up cycle and just wanted to have you be able to listen to the noise of the machine operating on the air fry setting at 450 degrees. So right there, for those last few seconds, you could hear, um, I'd say it's a little bit quieter than a microwave. You know, we have a little microwave up here. Um, it is not as loud as that. So pretty reasonable as far as the noise coming out of it. And, you know, I should be, feel the heat above here. I'm not touching the unit directly. It does feel cool. Uh, hand of the touch does not feel that hot. A little bit warm. Um, so that was about, you know, five to seven minutes at 450 on the initial heat up cycle. Carefully open this up here and just put my hand to kind of feel the heat coming out. And that's definitely warm, um, nice and hot. Got a lot of space in there, this is a little bit larger unit. Uh, picked it up at Walmart for like 80 bucks, something like that. So pretty reasonable, I think, for the price, but the build quality Feels pretty good. Um, the unit itself looks nice and is seems to be pretty heavy duty. So time will tell. Um, but yeah, that's the initial heat up cycle and overview of the Oster countertop oven and air fryer. All right, so we're gonna do our first cooking here in the uh, Oster air fryer. Um, just gonna grab something quick for lunch gonna do some of the frozen there that's not french fries so a little veggie burger um, definitely love meat but these things taste pretty good so I'm gonna compare this to like a breaded chicken breast as far as time which they say 350 for about 10 minutes on air fry so let's go ahead and get it put in there all right so we just had this on so I'm going to use a hot pad or a little towel here and probably just throw the patty in a little veggie burger nothing crazy Stick it in there, she's preheated. So settings, air fry, they said 350 for uh, 10 minutes. So pump this puppy up. Just that a little bit. And uh, we will check back in. All right, well hold on to your excitement everybody. Here's the uh, 
crowning moment. I'm gonna see how exciting a veggie burger can be. First thing I cooked in here, this was about, um, looks pretty crispy. Um, First thing I cooked in here, put it in for about 15 minutes. And uh, that is a veggie burger, so obviously not the tastiest thing, but they're pretty good. Um, first thoughts, definitely crispy exterior. I didn't put any oil on this, so you did save having to eat the oil. And uh, if you did want it crunchy, you know, I can imagine doing french fries or wings or something that that would come out really well so good uh external texture to it and uh, 15 minutes pretty quick